Hey shooters, this is John, Sun and Shadow, and we're joined again today by Mike Russo, pro shooter for 2A Fulfillment and also Sons of Liberty Gunworks. Uh, our last video, we talked a little bit about 6mm Max and the gun that Mike was running in the Quantified Performance Gas Gun Championship. Uh, we just finished up the finale. And now we're going to be talking a little bit more in depth about 6mm Max, uh, what its capabilities are, how it's a little bit different from 5.56 and 6 Arc and kind of compare the three cartridges. So uh, let's start out. Uh, Mike, how about you tell us a little bit about 6mm Max. Um, what's the difference that we see in the case uh, between 5.56 and 6 Arc? Yeah, sure thing, John. Thank you. Um, so the first thing that you're going to see compared to the 6mm Arc here on the 6mm Max is very clear, right? The body of the casing is visibly longer. Um, what that contributes to is going to be a more concentric feeding angle, right? The case is a much more conventional case compared to the shorter, fatter 6mm arc, which of course you'll find uh, similarities with your standard 5.56 cartridge. So, you know, this lends a hand to really the overall reliability of the system that we had talked about prior and that I've experienced while shooting this cartridge. Um, you know, I'm, I'm certainly not you know, a ballistic expert and, and can talk in depth about, you know, the scientific aspects of all of these things, but, you know, what's clear and, and very, very simple is that the, the conventional aspects of this is really just contributing to the positivity and concentricity in the feeding angle, again, contributing to the reliability of the platform. Okay, so, so a little bit more conventional case, um, not quite as fat as this 6 arc is. And that gives us better feed angle, uh, gives us better um, orientation when, when it's coming out of the magazine and into the board. Correct. Okay. Um, so, so going along with the, the case there, uh, we can, if we really compare these, we can actually see that there is a little bit longer overall length on 6mm Max. Um, and, and that kind of brings us into the, the magazine discussion. Um, if you've seen uh, the 6mm ARC magazines, you know that they have a pretty pronounced curve on them. Um, that's, that's very much due to the case geometry that we have on the 6mm ARC. Um, but we see on the, uh, on the 6mm Max that it's kind of a, a straight magazine. What can you tell us about the magazines for 6mm Max? Yeah, so, um, you know, the, the straight wall case um, is not something I would have thought that I would have had field a question on or been talked about, but there's some excitement around having a straight wall cartridge in a small frame with a six millimeter. Um, in terms of you know the overall length, we can start there. We're looking at about 50 thou on average longer than the 556. Um, in terms of the six millimeter max being about 50, 55 thou longer in terms of the overall length. Um, what you'll find is, you know, this 350 Legend mag, um, which is the mag where the Max started. Duramag will be making dedicated mags for this cartridge with some improvements there. Um, but I've had nothing but reliability with these 20 rounders. Uh, and of course, uh, people have seen the prototype 30 round mag that, that I was able to shoot uh, leading up to and during the, the finale for quantified performance. These are in simple terms, just slightly longer. And you know, if you were to load this 103 grain projectile um, or cartridge into a 5.56 mag, you'll find that it will not go into a polymer mag, right? Polymer, it just won't fit. It, it just won't fit. fit. Polymer okay. mags have to be a little bit thicker um, in, in order to, to do what they do so well. And when you come down to a steel mag, you can lose a little bit of the diameter and the material uh, in order to gain back some of that feeding reliability. So it's not incredibly different, but we are able to keep the geometry of a straight wall mag. And um, as they develop the 6 Max dedicated magazine, you'll see some, again, some slight improvements to the 350 Legend, which again is the parent case of the 6mm Max, and just a system behind that concentricity to lead to the reliability of the platform. Um, we had we had no malfunctions. I've experienced zero malfunctions with the, the prototype 350 Legend 30 round mag that Duramag and I tested and that I've been shooting with. Um, so whatever changes that they're going to make will certainly have a purpose. Um, but you know, in terms of 
can you use a 350 Legend Mag now and expect no malfunctions? I would, I would certainly get behind that. Okay. All right. So let's uh, let's start talking a little bit more about the, the difference in bolts. Uh, the six millimeter Max uses just a standard mil spec AR15 bolt, whereas the six Arc uses a 6.5 Grendel bolt or, or a Type Two bolt. Uh, Mike, what, what can you tell us about what you've seen uh, performance-wise between the two bolts? Uh, what makes these two bolts different and, and why? Yeah, so without going down a rabbit hole, in my experience on the 6mm arc, um, one of the beautiful things about the 6mm Max and the platform behind it is that we are using a standard you know, mil-spec 5.56223 bolt. Uh, that's a 378 bolt face. And what that is allowing us to do is just maintain the same bolt face geometry and thickness uh, which of course again contributes to the reliability of the platform um, for those of you who have heard me talk about it or read any of the material i've put out there reliability is the consistent uh tone of, of you know my takeaways from this um, it's very clear that the six millimeter arc um, has a, a much thinner uh, wall on, on the bolt face um, and you know we're, we're able to leverage the I guess stoutness right of the 556 five, bolt uh, to perform over a longer period of time um, you know I don't have nearly as many rounds for the six millimeter max as I do a 556 five, or even at this point in time the six millimeter arc but what we're seeing with the arc is a reliability issue here um, we've had you know at this point you know we're in, we're in the double digits of extractor failure. I've seen bolt lux crack. Um, I've seen, uh, even at one point on the clock, we've seen a, a bolt lug completely shear off. Um, you know, the round count in my experience uh, with the extractor is, is over the 2,000 round count mark with factory ammo only. But in my opinion, there shouldn't be a round count. Mm. Right, again, that's my personal experience and, and we've seen you know, a lot of these failures consistent, but I don't know if you've ever blown a lug or, or an extractor on a 556, five, but I know it takes a uh, it takes a high round count yeah, to get there, rounds uh, to do if, if at all, yep. which is which is really the point. So when it comes down to the bolt that we're using here with the six millimeter max, this is actually one of the more exciting things regarding the platform and the cartridge and what the the bullet can do down range in terms of ballistics, right? Versus the five five six. Yeah. So, so let's talk about performance downrange. Um, you know, obviously we would believe that a six millimeter is it's going to have a little bit higher performance than the five five six would. So, so for purposes of this, let's kind of leave the the five five six out of the, the conversation as for performance. So, what kind of differences do we see performance wise between six arc and six millimeter max? Is there a difference? So, you know, just as a point of reference, uh, this is a, a Black Hill seventy seven grain Sierra Match King. It's got a G seven BC of point one nine. Right, as we move down the line, this is a 103 grain Horner DELDX. Uh, the G7 is off of the Ailer 89 system, and this is a 0 .2508 G7BC. And this is the 108 grain Horner DELDM 6 millimeter arc, and the prescribed BC, which has worked really well for me to note, is 0 .270 G7. Um, so when you look at those numbers, again, if you want to leave you know, this little guy to the side, um, tried and true, no doubt. Um, we're really comparing, you know, at the end of the day on a data card, hairline differences. Um, you know, what we're seeing out to a thousand is an argument that's not even worth having, right? So, what is the discussion here for me? And in my experience, it's just been the raw reliability of the six millimeter max versus the six millimeter arc. Okay. So, so performance-wise, we're really not seeing a, a major difference between the two. Um, any differences that we see here are neg negligible. They certainly are yeah. negligible. Okay. You know, to give to give some real data in terms of what I've collected over time. So, I was able to take my averages of roughly 2,500 rounds on my 16-inch, one and seven and a half inch twist with a Hornady uh, 108 arc bullet. Um, with a, a rough average velocity of 25, 35, and uh, you know, if you look at the average velocity that I've seen on the 103 grain six millimeter max, the velocity has been 2,600. Um, where you're going to see the differences is the elevation holds are going to actually be superior, if you will, 
uh, it's an overstatement sure. on the 108 range, right? We're talking 0.1 mils out right. to almost 900 yards, right? And in terms of wind deflection, um, based on the BC of the 103 grain, it is absolutely holding its own out to that distance. And once you get out past uh, 1100 or so, then you'll start to see the elevation take over on the 103. And really at that point, out of a 16 inch gas gun, you know, you're, it's kind of at the max. It's, it's really yeah, a yeah. point, right? So as far as performance goes, it sounds like between six arc and six millimeter max, there doesn't seem to be a major difference. So, so you know, why does six millimeter max even exist then if, if six arc is already out? Sure. Um, yeah, I think uh, having an, an argument, you know, comparing ballistics or we'll just call it performance out of a six inch barrel and comparing the two is, is really kind of yelling into an echo chamber. Right, for me, it just comes down to, to one sole purpose, which is reliability, right? Again, based on my experience, um, I've had a lot of hiccups putting this round down range a lot. And, um, you know, I, again, limited exposure to this in terms of thousands of rounds, but I have zero indications and zero reasons to believe that anything is going to change. Um, again, going back to the maintenance thing, it's a much easier system to maintain, uh, very similar to what, you know, our, our maintenance cycle, which is little to almost no maintenance on 5.56. Sure. Ballistically, again, very, very similar. Um, where you're going to find the difference is going to be in the reliability of the system. You know, at the end of the day, who wouldn't want a superior bullet coming out of a small frame with incredibly similar recoil or, or felt impulse to the 5.56, but with incredibly superior ballistics? Absolutely. Okay. Mike, this, is, uh, this has been an awesome discussion about 6mm max round. We're excited to see more of it. Um, by the way, I forgot to mention, Mike actually just won the Quantified Performance uh, General Purpose Division, the championship, using the 6mm max rifle. So congratulations on your win, Mike. That's awesome. Appreciate um, thanks very much for, for coming out and talking to us about 6mm max. And if you have any questions or comments, please drop them below and uh, we'll do what we can to get them answered for you. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Thank you, John. Thanks, buddy.